In this tutorial, we will create a glowing lines effect, or also known as plot to media dance effect, which is pretty simple to create on its own, but does take a while as you have to animate it frame by frame. Anyway, without wasting more time, let's jump to the tutorial. I've got a dancing girl video from pixabay.com that I'm going to use as an example. Let's go ahead and create a new composition by clicking on this button. I'm going for 1920 by 1080, click OK. Then drag your footage onto a timeline, and up here on the tools menu, select the brush tool. And as you select it, the paint window will automatically open up and also you can find the brushes window just beneath it where you can adjust the, the brush size and brush hardness as you like. Let's go back to the paint window. Here you can adjust the color of your brush and one important thing you want to change is the duration. So click the drop down for duration and for you it will say constant for the first time and you should set it to a single frame. That is important to animate it frame by frame. And if you don't see the paint or brushes windows, you can always go to window and make sure those are selected up here. So the paint and the brush windows. And you will not be able to draw on your video up to this point. As you can see, there's no brush. That's because we need to double click on the actual video layer to open it in a separate layer where you, you can see the brushes here and you can start drawing. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in on the picture to draw more precisely. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from the frame one and create a stroke. And then I'm going to move one frame forward by pressing page down, or you can press page up to move one frame back in case if you need to, and create a second stroke. And one suggestion I'm going to give you is when you create your second stroke, do not create it from where the first one ended. Try to go for a bit of an offset and almost create the second one from the middle of the first one, if that makes sense. So let me demonstrate you. So this is not the right way to do it because it makes the animation really jumpy and we want it to be smooth so we need to create this flow let me demonstrate it this will make the stroke animation smoother and the rest of the process pretty straightforward just go one frame forward create a stroke then move one frame forward and create a stroke and keep doing that until you are done and i'm going to speed up the process so you don't have to watch and i'll get back to you as soon as we finish And once you're done, press the end button to bring the composition endpoint and better focus on the strokes only. As you can see, our stroke is white and it's a bit hard to see on the picture, but we're going to change the color in just a bit. First, let's close the layer by pressing the X button. Before we apply effects, we need to extract the brush strokes from the video layer so the effects do not affect an entire video. And for that, let's create a new solid by right click new solid. The color doesn't matter, but make it black anyway. Click OK. Then select the video layer and press E on your keyboard to bring out the effects. Then open paint drop down and here you'll be able to see all the brushes that you've applied. Uh, select any of them and press Ctrl A to select all of them. And then press Ctrl C to copy the brushes. Then select the solid layer and press Ctrl V. But before you do that, make sure you are at the right frame so the brush timings can properly match your video. In my case, I've started applying brushes from the first frame, so that's why I'm moving the playhead at the first frame. If, say, you started applying brushes at frame 10, that's why you should move your playhead. And then press Ctrl V. After you've pasted the brushes, select the solid layer, press E to open up effects, then click the paint drop down and turn on paint on transparent. By doing that, you can see the solid becomes transparent. The only thing we see is the actual brushes. Now scroll down to the video layer, select paint and press delete. We don't need the brushes on the actual video layer anymore since we've extracted them to a solid layer. And now we can start applying effects, but that I mean change the color of our strokes and apply some glue. So first let's search for fill, apply fill to the solid layer and you'll see that the stroke has changed the color. It's red now. You're free to choose your own colors here. I like the purple color. That's why I'm going to select it then press OK. We can better see a brush outline. Let's now apply glow effect, search for glow in effects and presets, stylize glow, add this to the solid layer and straight up you can see the glow effect taking place. Let's adjust the glow, so I'm going to increase the glow radius to 20 for the first glow and let's select the glow, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. For the second glow, I'm going to set this glow radius to 80. By doing that our brush has got all nice and glowy and they really look like neon lines. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. As you can see, the effect itself is pretty simple to create, but it does take a while to animate it frame by frame. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please leave a like under this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.